Hello everyone, it's Carrie from sunshineinmypocket.com and I'm here with a brand new release from Miss Ink Stamps. This is a super cute release. This one here I'm going to be working with today is called Pumpkin Spice Latte and then I also paired it with Pumpkin Spice for the sentiment. So today I'm going to color this up with Copics and I'm going to show you exactly the colors I chose and how I did this. Now this pumpkin spice latte set is a four by four set and this is already created for you, this scene. So you don't have to do any masking, you don't have to do multiple stamps. This is ready to go and I love it, I adore it. That little gnome peeking up over the latte cup and the pumpkin with the leaves and then you have a cinnamon stick and some nutmeg below. It is super cute. So to start off, I chose three colors of orange to use for my pumpkins here. I usually start with my darkest color and I use that in the darkest areas and then I go and blend that through with the lighter color, the medium color, and then I'll go and blend that out with the lightest color. And most times if it's a little bit larger of an image like this pumpkin here, most times I will go over it one more time to get a darker look. So I'll take those same colors and I'll do them all over again. And the reason for that is that it gives it more dimension. And I think it looks a little bit better. So here's the colors that I used for the oranges YR09, YR04, and YR12. And you can see I am just now blending out with that YR12, which is the lightest color of the oranges. When I pick my colors, I usually like to pick three of a color family and I'll choose my colors for the entire scene at the beginning. That's why I was showing you the Copic chart at the very beginning. I'll choose the oranges I want. So I did that for the pumpkins. I chose some really fun bright greens for this. You could also do some autumn color leaves which would be beautiful as well and those come in a variety of colors. But today I'm doing some green leaves, some light green. I chose my browns for the latte and the cinnamon stick and nutmeg and I chose, so pretty much I chose all my colors at the beginning. And my secret is when I am wondering what colors to choose, I like to take a look at the color wheel. And the color wheel will tell me which colors are complementary. So for example, when I picked the orange for the pumpkin, I knew that I wanted to do a complementary color on that mug and the complement of orange is blue. So I chose a lighter blue, some of my favorite blues, which are the BGs, and so that's what color we're gonna color the mugs. So here we are starting off with the leaves, and I've used three colors for the leaves as well, YG25, YG23, and YG21. And the YG21 is a lot lighter than the other two colors, so when you blend it out, you get a good variation in color and I like the contrast with the light and the dark, at least on these leaves, for this one. And so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other leaf just the exact same way and I kind of skipped over that but it's just the same as I did that first leaf. To color up the skin for the gnome, I'm using my go-to colors of E50, E51, and E55. There's very little skin to color here so it goes really quick and I just went over that a couple of times and, until I got the look that I was going for. The browns I chose for this project are E27, E25, and E23, and I used that same color scheme for the drink and also for the nutmeg and cinnamon at the bottom. Did this real simply because these are really small, and so I colored all over with the lightest brown and then I went over just the lines with the darkest brown and I blended out just a tiny bit with the medium and that was it for those. This actually was really quick to color, very relaxing too. So if you enjoy coloring, then this would be a really fun set for you to have. I did want to mention also on the pumpkin spice for the saying, for the sentiment, this sentiment set is so brilliant how they did this because it is like mix and match. So you could create a lot of different sentiments for this. The one I chose today to combine to make my sentiment says, tis the season for pumpkin spice. 
but there's a lot of other sayings you could create and I really really love this sentiment set and it's perfect for this time of year for the spoon I'm using some cool grays you can see up in the corner there uh, I started with a C3 and then went over that with a C1 and then I blended all of that through with the C0 and that was a very simple to do as well like I said this whole coloring took me less than 45 minutes even choosing the colors and determining <laughs> what I wanted to do on the gnome hat you'll see that in a minute I used the same greens for the leaves on that patch on his hat and then the pumpkin of course I used those same oranges and now I'm going in with the Bee Gees for the mug these are some of my favorite colors and my go-to colors I probably need to buy refills for these soon I start around the edges with the darkest color which is the BG 13 blend that out with the BG 11 and blend it even more with the BG 10 and I actually did this a number of times to get the darkness that I wanted on the mug but that's normal par for the course when I'm coloring I originally planned on coloring the gnome hat with the BG colors as well but I thought that would be way too much blue on this card and so I decided to change my mind at the last moment I ended up not coloring the hat in blues and you'll see me struggle in just a minute decide on the colors for that and I'll tell you how I came to my conclusion in the end just finishing up this mug and I'm going to skip over the part where I go over it one more time because it's just the same I just made it a little bit darker on the mug and also on the handle for the pumpkin stem I use the same browns that I used on the rest of it and then I go over it with the E50 and also some of the greens from the leaf so we have sort of a brownish green tint to that stem so I just kind of played with that until I thought it looked right so that was very simple on his pants they are checkered so I'm using the darkest green and then I'll go over the rest of it with the same color that I color his hat for his shoes I'm just using some neutrals the N7 N5 and N3 we're going to give him some shiny black shoes here for this one and now it's time for the hat now I cut out all the part where I was just kind of agonizing over the colors I wanted to choose and finally in the end I decided to go with my trick when I'm having a, a hard time choosing colors I always look at what colors I have and go toward the complement like I mentioned before so because I have those green leaves I thought that his hat should be a variation of a light shade of red so I'm going in with some R11 R12 and R17 and again I go over this multiple times until I get the darkness that I'm looking for and we kind of get a peachy pink red in the end which I think looks really cute on this gnome I'll just finish up coloring up that gnome hat here going over it all again with some of the darker colors and blending it out and I'm just going to finish off this card very simply because it's such a great size it really fills up the card front so all I did to finish off this card was to cut down this panel just a little bit so that I could mat it on some cardstock to match this gnome hat so that's what I did here cut it down and there's a little bit of that peachy pink color I think looks really good as a mat for this card I am going to sprinkle a few of these sequins on there and then I have some stickles in the same kind of orange color I'm going to dot the center of the sequins with the stickles that way you don't see the white dots in the middle I think sometimes that can get a little distracting I'll glue this on to the peachy pink color of cardstock I really like looking at the back of a Copic colored piece it's so pretty so there we go and then I'll attach that to the card base which is a 110 pound paper it's a heavyweight paper so we've got a really good weight to the card I'm just adding the stickles to finish that all off and there is our pumpkin spice latte gnome so super cute I hope you enjoyed this project today and this card share be sure to stop by the Miss Ink Stamps blog to see all the inspiration from the design team there is so much great new release product and inspiration over there 
So I hope you'll stop by. Thanks for stopping by the video today. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a thing. I'll be back real soon with more inspiration. Thanks for stopping by today. Bye-bye.